Speak Strong with Karen. I am your host, I am your cheerleader, and I am your advocate. You're gonna be fit today, and I'm so proud of you for joining me. This is active aging for my clients that are over 50s and their 60s and 70s. What you're gonna to need today, a set of hand weights. I'm gonna use two sets. You have an option if you have a little heavier set, because we'll do a set of curls, and then if you're feeling good, let's go up and wait a little bit today. It's gonna to be safe, your technique's gonna be on point. But also, bring out the ball. If you have an exercise ball that's in your laundry room or just sort of pushed off to the side in your basement, grab it. All right, we're gonna go on our stomach on the ball. You're gonna walk yourself out, perhaps do a push-up or two. Walk yourself back in for core and upper body. And then we're gonna lay on the ground, roll your legs over the ball and do some nice bridge work. It's gonna be a great workout. So we always wanna warm up, okay? Right? Push your ball off to the side. Clear space, open up your heart to me, and let's start working out. Roll those shoulders. Your warm up is probably the most exciting part of the workout because sometimes you just didn't want to do it, and then as you start to warm up, you're going to feel better, and then you're going to stick with it because it's 30 minutes today. Bend to the side, side, pause in the center, side. Good. So we want to check the side of the body with proper technique. Toes forward, heels into the floor, and then like you're pushed between two pieces of glass, try not to crumble forward when you stretch side. Now, how far down that leg can you go today? Side of the knee? Good job. Find your center, hinge from the hip, drop the chest, pull the belly button into the spine, and bring it up. And again, forward hinge from the hip. Beautiful for that low back. Feels good? Bring it up. No runny noses today. <laughs> Two more. Oh, good. There's those tight hamstrings. No problem, right? We're going to release tension in the back. You're always going to feel better at the end of my workout. That's our goal, not to feel worse. Separate those fingers. Push forward. Open. Down. And a curl. Open, release, mimicking what we're going to do today in our warm up. Bicep curl, chest press, reach away from your center. One more. Push, open, release. Show me loose, loose, loose. Wiggle out those fingers. All right, legs, knee lifts. Drive it up, drive it up. Now, top, tap the hand to the leg. How are the legs? Same hand, right side, left side. If it bothers your back, you're lower. You're going from two feet to one. Check that balance. Good. Now, cross the midline. Right hand to left knee. One. Opposite hand to knee. Two. There you go. Wake up the brain. I'm never going to let the mind just kind of go blank during my workouts. You're going to be challenged physically and mentally because you need that. Yes. Good. One more. How'd that feel? Shake it out. Roll the shoulders. Now hamstring curl, kick your butt, heel the butt. Oh, are those thighs tight today? Are the knees bending? That's what we wanna know. We're getting fluid and movement up around the knee, warming up the back of that leg. Now check, same hand to outside of that heel. Don't twist, just drive it up. Can you find the outside of the heel? Outside. If not, no big deal. If you're whipping, that's okay. It'll come the more you practice it. Four more. Three. Now let me see you march because we love to march when we warm up. Arms come forward and back. You're assessing how you feel with this. Is your hip hiking? Then we're going to practice that by strengthening through that core, getting a little stronger in the hips and the knees so that you have a level march, level hips. Three, two, and one. Good job. Shake it up. All right, shoulder rolls, second time through this warm up because it's so important. Good. Setting a strong foundation, mind muscle connection. Yes. All right, now your side bends, four of them. You go one, belly button into spine. Lengthening the side, get that release. <sighs> That's two because we go right, left is one. Three. The other side, heels into the floor, chin in. Good. Now your forward hinge, support, drop your chest. Good. Peel it up, push those hips forward. Find
in my knee, you push the hips forward. Good, shake it out. Hands up, right hand to right knee. Up, up. Find the connection, if your hand is here, your knee goes up to the hand. You don't bring the hand down to the knee. All about you controlling. Two more. Good, shake it out. You're feeling good. All right, hamstring curl, heel to butt. Heel to butt, same side, same side. Can you find that heel? Don't force it. If the knee is a little swollen, you've had a replacement, or you have some arthritis flaring up today, we want to warm it up. Loose, loose, loose. Two more. One more each way. Now, plant your feet. Check that posture. Hold the belly button into the spine. Curl, push, open, release. Now make it nice and fluid. See if you can reach a little farther back. Pull those stomach muscles in. One more. Shake loose, let's check your neck. Then we're ready, ear to shoulder. As I tip, I push my opposite hand down. Inhale, switch sides, exhale. Center, ear to shoulder. Opposite hand gets pushed down, you exhale. Find your center, check posture, chin in. Tip, we're always gonna have technique first. Go ahead, roll it out. All right, we are ready. First exercise is gonna be biceps, so grab your hand weights, bend at your knees, pick them up nice and strong. What are you gonna to use today? What do you have is the question, right? So I'm gonna start with an eight in each hand. It's not a competition. Plant your feet, toes forward. Not a sway back, not a rounded back. Pull up. From that hip bone to the armpit, I want you to zip and then tip. Look at you, gorgeous. All right, palms up. Let's check those arms. Bicep curl. Bring it up and down. The technique class is I don't want swinging, okay? If you're swinging, maybe it's too heavy, and I don't want the arms back here, a little in front of you. Woo! Oh, even my eights feel a little heavy today. Isn't that weird? Those first few can feel a little, oh. All right, here's your pattern. Bring them up. Walk those feet so you feel strong in your core. If you're tired and you need to have a seat, do it, but don't give up on the weights. Both hands go down and up. Good, we're doing 12. This is two. Good job. Are they moving evenly? Do you have a stronger side? Good, core tight, butt tight. Exhale, inhale. Halfway, six. There you go, keep your chest up, keep your chin in. Don't rush. There it is, eight. Exhale, inhale. Good. Smooth, steady wins the race. <laughs> 12, I like that on you. Good job, roll the shoulders. First set in the books. Then we check the neck, little stretch there, little stretch there, shrug those shoulders. Good job. This time we're adding a calf raise. But I'm gonna put you in a tandem pose because this is aging strong. As we get older, we need to work on that balance and challenge the brain with where we put our body. So take your right foot, step it forward. Shoulders over hips, palms up. Or actually, let's go palms in. We'll do a hammer curl. Roll forward to the ball of the feet and rock back. Okay, so you're gonna flex shoulders over hips, chin in, roll it up, rock it back. As you curl, yeah, don't tip like I just did. Here we go, squeeze your butt, one, take your time, reset, come down. Curl up, two, hinge in from that elbow, three. If it's too much of a challenge with that foot in front, take a step a little wider, it'll be easier. We do six on this side, two more here. Pull the belly button in, straighten that front knee. Beautiful, all right, then 
to keep my eights. How do you feel? If it's a little too easy, you know, you could go up, go up a set, but watch this. We're going to go one leg and that will make everything harder. Palms up. Your challenge is to float one foot off the floor with level hips and curl that weight six times and then we'll change legs, giving us our third set of biceps, but our second balance challenge. All right, set yourself. Clear that mind. All right, I'm gonna take my right foot off the floor, but I'm not gonna settle in my left hip. I'm gonna pull it up. Abs in, squeeze the top of that thigh, squeeze your butt. Now fight for it. One. If this is too much, you put a toe down and you unweight the body. Or you practice. Four, get tips down, reset. Five. All right, I'm gonna put my foot down and change sides. Please don't rush. Don't, don't cheat yourself. Fight for it. This is the mind. This is confusing your brain and helping the future you. Okay, so there's my balance. Squeeze the butt, focus those eyes. Take your time. Exhale, inhale. This is my third one. I have six of these. If that foot falls, come on, reset. Just like in life, you're not gonna give up. I have two more, how about you? Ah, water waving around. <laughs> six, yay, plant that foot, don't just fall out. Bend at your knees, get rid of those weights and high five me. Good work, class, shake it up. Little stretch, good. Listen, it's okay. Right? We're here to push you a little bit. Yeah. Kind of make that mind open up with me, pull back, have to fight. Okay? So I feel like at this level, you know how to do that bicep curl, right? This is intermediate. You've curled some weights before. Let's challenge the brain and let's work out for the future you. All right? You good? Grab your weights. We're going again. So we just did some biceps. Let's do some rowing exercises to help with our back, and then we're gonna hit our ball. All right, grab your weights. Bend at your knees. Core in tight. Come up. I'm gonna use my eights again. If you know you have a stronger back for rowing, then go ahead and you can pick up a heavier weight. 12 reps. Yes. I'm gonna open the legs. Comfortable, shoulders back. The first set, bend the knees, hinge at the hip, and you're gonna decide if you're gonna keep the weight above the knee because the most important thing is flat back. We don't wanna round, it's not gonna help us. So everybody go above the knee with those weights, stick your butt out, stick your heart open, chin in, and pull like low rib cage, okay? Abs up and in, and punch down, here we go. Squeeze the shoulder blade into the spine, and then roll the shoulders back, squeeze, don't worry about just pulling elbows, right? Exhale as you pull back. Inhale, exhale and pull. My weight is mid foot to heel, look straight down, don't look at me. Head in line with spine. Belly button in, now try to pull more low rib cage, not up to the armpit. If I'm bothering your low back, come up a little bit, that's fine. Elbows close to the body. You're strong, good. Give me two more, exhale, inhale, exhale. Now you come up with a hinge, squeeze your butt, push forward, reset, good job. What I don't want you to feel is a lot of stress in the low back. We are working that by tipping you forward a little bit, okay? If you want, you can go way forward, but you know, we're all at a different level. You need to listen to your body, stay safe, this exercise is gonna help you get stronger. Second set, palms forward, little change in our hand placement. Hinge at the hip, head in line with the spine, so look a little bit in front of you, not, not too far down at your toes, and pull back. One, same motion, two, different hand alignment. Elbows will open a little bit wider. Exhale, five, feel those shoulder blades pinch. Pretend there's a pencil on your spine and you're gonna squeeze those shoulder blades. Squeeze, again, if it's bothering your low back, come up a little bit and pull more back. Two more, exhale. Now you're done when you come all the way up. Good job, shake the legs. Show me loose, 
move those legs around. I want blood flow and pump into the heart. I don't want to just let you sit there. Shake, shake, shake. Good, shrug them. You can always put the weights down, stretch in there. Ah, oh, good work. Third set, okay? What I'm gonna have you do is pick up a foot. So watch me first. You're gonna hinge just above the knee. As you row, you're gonna step your foot back, punch down, and you're gonna alternate very smooth. Try not to tip over. A light tap, your chest stays forward the whole time. If you're not ready for that, just do your regular bent over row, okay? I'll, I'll face kind of on diagonal. Hinge at the hip, belly button in, tight abs, tight butt, pull back. One, and punch down. Keep your chest still, two. Now you exhale, inhale, reset. Exhale, four. Where are those arms going? Low rib cage. Keep that weight in that front foot. Nice, everyone. Can you keep going or you need a break? Okay, try not to fall back. We're not falling back, okay? Just a tap, just a tap. Keep that chest down, two more. 12, you come up strong. Beautiful, set, bend at your knees and put it down. Back and biceps, shake, loose. Wiggle them, roll right. All right, little brain work, you ready? Round under. Oh, how does that feel? Bring it up. Open to me. Do it again. Under like you're hugging a tree. Chin to chest. Round those elbows. Good. Peel it. Oh, loose. Oh, good. Before we go down on the ground, I want to do opposite arm and leg. It shows your strength in your core and in your back. So, I'm going to turn this way. You're going to put your right foot back your left hand forward, and your hand comes into your knee. I know, this is like our warm up, but I'm gonna tip you forward, okay? And you're gonna go elbow to knee if you can, with a tap down, elbow to knee, okay? Then, three of the, or six of those, and then the second set of six, you try to float and not not tap down. If we tip over, it's okay. All right? If you don't want to take the leg off the floor, keep it down. But here's your balance challenge. Opposite arm and leg. Right foot goes back. Left hand goes forward. If it bothers your shoulder, you're going to point down. If it feels okay, you can reach up. Tip forward. Soft bend in my standing leg. Ready? Slow. Hand to knee. And a light tap. Hand to knee. Focus those eyes. Reach. Now, elbow to knee, if you can. When you tap back, it's as if you're tapping your foot into a puddle. You don't want to make a huge splash. Just a little tap into that puddle. Oh, I can feel it on my standing side. Now, hinge forward a little more. See if you can balance and extend. Opposite hand or opposite knee to elbow. Think of your big toenail and that back leg pointing to the floor. If you tap down, that's okay. Give me two more. Exhale and inhale. Good. Finish. Nailed it. Maybe, right? Okay. Push the hips. We have one more, then we're heading down, okay? Oh, how'd you do? Let's reset on the other side. All right, class. Opposite arm and leg, okay? So what we're looking for, my left leg goes back. My right arm goes forward with no pain in my shoulder. If it bothers me, I'm gonna go down. Drop this hip and come in. One, and reach. Two, scoop the stomach muscles in. Three, maybe knee to elbow. Four, five. Exhale as you come in. Now, option, not everyone has to take it. Float it, drop that chest. Slow it down. Challenge that standing hip. Exhale and inhale. Oh, I tip. Three. I had to go for it a little bit more. Four. It's okay to feel a little wobbly. Six. Nice. Take it. Yes. Woo. That's a fun one. Yes, it does. It reminds you of on the ground bird dog, opposite arm and leg. All right, go grab your exercise ball. Bring it on down. Take a drink if 
you need it, okay? you want to do. So, you're going to go over the ball, you're going to roll that chest forward so your feet come off the ball. Scoop your stomach muscles in, go for a walk, and then you're going to do a push-up, six of them, with no pain, or you're just going to hold your plank, okay? Then we're all going to walk back the same way we got on the ball. We're not just going to slide slide back, okay? But I'm going to scooch back. All right, we're going to do this four times, six push-ups. If your shoulder bothers you, okay, I can tell you the hardest part is coming back off the ball, so don't get too comfortable on the way back. All right, class, you good? No dizziness? All right. Oh, if you don't have a ball, okay, you're going to walk yourself out. You're going to do your six push-ups from your thighs, and then walk yourself back, okay? All right, here we go. You're on the ball. Chest forward. Float your legs. Yeah! All right, take your steps. One. How many? Maybe four of them. Set yourself. Here we go. Down. Exhale. Remember, you're on a ball. Modifying. Keep those abs tight. Not go down as far. The more leg that's on the ball closer to your hip, the easier the push-up. Don't rock backwards. Exhale. Now, lift those hips a little bit. Place the hands. I know those wrists can be tender. Come on, straight back, straight back. There we go. One, shake it out. Wiggle. Now, you come up onto your knees if you feel okay. Push those hips forward, stretch. All right, we're going again. Take it over. What are you gonna do if you don't wanna do the push-up? You're gonna take your walk out and you're gonna hold, okay? Otherwise, six. Yep, you're gonna get strong. Five, four, no pain. Three, exhale on the way up. Woo! Good, walk it. One, don't drag. Pick that hand up, scoop those abs in. Straight back, straight back. Anybody wipe off their ball? Sometimes it goes sideways. Come up. Show me your head above your heart. How do you feel? Shake those wrists. Have you figured out that if you keep your thighs, I'm gonna modify this one, you don't go out as far, it's gonna be easier, okay? Just don't give up. Your option. You come over the ball. Chest is off, feet are up. You guys go ahead and walk it out. I'm gonna stay here and do my push-ups. Yes, it's easier, but still challenging on that ball. Scoop those abs up and in. Your legs should be long, pointed feet. Yes. Don't rush. Abs up, walk it back. One, walk it back. Two, then look those toes for the floor. And up, shake. One more set, and then we're going into bridges, and then we're almost done. Yes, we're looking good. How's your neck? If you can't get through the fourth set, it's okay. Yes, I know how old you are, right? I know, I have my clients, you know, I said intermediate, but it doesn't mean you're comfortable with this exercise, so watch and modify. Come off, the, come into the ball, roll the chest forward. I'm proud of you, lift those feet. Okay, you good right here? Maybe take a little step. How far out are you going? Abs up and in, everyone, show me. Either a plank hold or a small push-up, but spine straight. Try not to rock off the ball. Inhale and exhale, you are almost done today. Yes, nobody can do this for you. You have to work out and push a little bit. Good, walk it home. Yay! Oh, hug that ball. Good work. All right, push the ball forward. Take a second because you're going to go on your back, okay? And you're going to throw those legs over the ball, okay? I'm going to bring my microphone down so you guys can hear me better down there. All right, take a second, lay back. Enjoy yourself as I mess this up. 
Oh, I know how much you guys love looking at me that close. All right, last, we're down. Whoops. There we go. One day I'll have a, uh, a cameraman, right? But it's just a one-man show. But I just want you to have these workouts because it's so important when you're in your 60s and 70s to have someone supporting you and thinking about longevity. All right, did you find your position? Look at me, walk that ball under those thighs. Now we have to rest a second, roll the head. We have to let your blood pressure get counted for. Oh, let that heart just hug into your chest. Relax those legs and most importantly, relax through that back. Inhale, exhale. Reach the arms up and over the head for a little release of your back. Oh my gosh, okay, look, we're not done. I've got a hamstring curl. Okay, and then we'll stretch your arms. Give me one more big pull back. Oh, I'm beautiful. Keep your legs right here for me, okay? Relax those ankles. Pelvic tilt, tip your butt under. Push your low back into the mat, almost like you're bearing down. And then roll those hips up. Lengthen the legs, straighten out those knees to a nice little pipe. Lift up, look at you. Beautiful. And then as you come down, your knees will soften, your back will soften. Good. And then you go again. Now watch. Pelvic tilt. Feel those tight stomach muscles come in. Drive your hips up. Again, don't let your legs be too dormant. Straighten the back of that leg. Lift those hips. Squeeze the buns. Your toes should be forward. Don't let them hook off to the side. Good. Abs in. And down. And then relax. All right, walk the ball a little bit further away so it's not touching back to the thighs. Flex those feet. Drive up and down. Two more. Ready? One, two, three. Use the arms and push into that mat and drive up and down. Give me one more. Drive up. How are you doing? No cramping. All right, back is down. Bend your knees. Pull the ball in and out. How does this feel? Bending and lengthening. Bending, how's your knee, and lengthening. We're gonna put that together in the bridge, okay? So watch me, can you see me without hurting your neck? You're going to press up. It's gonna pull the hamstring and the glute, and you're gonna pull in and out, okay? Keeping the hips up as best you can with control. All right, I'm gonna ask for six of them Maybe your goal today is four of them, especially if you're cramping, or I would be super happy with you if you did six bridge lifts. If you're wiggling up there, or if you have some tenderness around the knee today, some inflammation, you're just kind of swelling and feeling a little arthritic flare up, let's not push it and go for that bend. Let's just work really strong core and low back and hamstrings with, the, with just the bridge, okay? I'm with you. I'm telling you that if you're enough and that you do not have to do the curl in. However, if things are healthy today, we're not gonna overdo, okay? They have the caps on the ball, chin is tucked. We are ready to drive up a bridge off the ball, push those arms into the mat, pull in for two and out. How is that? Not bad? All right, here's two. Or you're just going up and down, belly button to spine, straight in, straight out. You don't have to come all the way in. Nope, not at all. I'm on five. How about you? Did you go so fast that you're done? Come on, come on. Oh, lower down. Oh, shake those legs. You know what feels good? Kind of lifting them up and down to the ceiling feels nice. Inhale and exhale. All right, you know your plan? We have another set. We got 12 of them to do. That was your first set of six. Drive up, squeeze the butt, and here we go. One, slow it down. Don't rush. We want technique and good form. If that ball is too far away from you, take a second, walk it under those calves. There you go. Squeeze your butt. Ooh, don't drop. Now I feel it. <laughs> and release. Oh, gosh, bend those legs. How'd you do? Sometimes we feel it in the calf. Yeah, try not to flex the foot so much, and I'll see if I can release that, that calf. All right, you have one more set, okay? You're not zinging in and out, all right? This time, I'm just gonna plank. I'm not plank. I'm just gonna go up and down to 
bridge, you guys pull in and out. Here we go. Everybody presses up. If you're gonna curl the knees, bend them in and out. Otherwise, it looks like a bridge off the ball. I squeeze my glutes, I drive my hips up. Maybe I do three of those. I'm feeling good, and then I finish with three curls. Knees going straight up to the ceiling. Yeah, that would be a good option. You got, you got options. <laughs> good job. Walk it in. Let that ball rest behind you, everyone. The question is, did you breathe at all during that set? Okay, so that's really going to lengthen the back of that leg. So what I want you to do now is just extend and kick up to the ceiling. Yeah, good. Legs on the ball. Let them rock a little side to side. Open up the arms. We are cooling down. I'm so proud of you. We did three sets of biceps and back today, 12 reps. We threw some balance variations in there. You did opposite hand to knee, going right left hemisphere of the brain, some hamstring curls off the ball, and walkouts to push-ups. Yep, you did all that today. So now I'm gonna ask you to roll onto your side. Come up to sitting. How are you? I gotta get the head above the heart. And I'm not gonna leave you on the ground because I wanna make sure you come up and finish. All right, if you're a little tender, shoulders or wrists after the push-ups, be mindful of that. If you need help coming up, just be careful around you. Drive yourself up to standing, come into center, and we are almost done. Roll those shoulders. Oh, cool down time. Is it a little common to get a little dizziness when you come up? Sometimes, yeah, kind of know your body. Some of you just have always had that little, you know, what do they call it, like little floaters or little sea stars, okay? Roll these shoulders, inhale and exhale. Don't skip this cool down, okay? Walk it out. Side bend, yep, it mimics the warm up, but we get to hold it a little longer. So here's the pull, right? You did hamstring curls, you did some push-ups and planking, did some rowing, so it would be common to have a little tightness there. But I take you to that supported forward hinge. Push your butt. There's those hamstrings. Anyone want to reach for the toes? Climb yourself back up. Chest up, eyes up. Hands to the back pockets. Make a little fist push forward. Good. Bring it in. Drive that knee up. Yeah. Get a sense of how you're going to feel the rest of the day. Knee to chest. Good. And then hamstring curl. Heel the butt. How are the knees bending after those curls off the ball? Good. If you enjoyed some of that, save the workout and repeat it, okay? Good, roll the shoulders. Inhale and exhale. This is gonna help your posture. Shoulders up under the ears, back and down. Good, two more, inhale, exhale. As we age, core, posture, total body strengthening, but also challenging that brain with how you move through space. Tip side, good. It's very important that we can't do the same thing all the time and expect different results, okay? You need to challenge your brain by doing different coordination exercises, different patterns, different tempos, because you guys know how to do a bicep curl, or at least you've curled the arm up, right? Maybe not with 50 pounds, which is fine, right? but it's about pattern, taking up space, and being the best you, so when you're 100, 103, it's just effortless. All right, all the way up, lift those elbows open. There's your victory stance. And then let me see that perfect posture. Toes forward, shoulders over hips, hands at your side, pulling. And this is us just hanging out, right? Nice space from the hip bone to the armpit, beautiful space between chin and chest, ear and collarbone, and that little side of the hand is facing forward, not knuckles forward, that little V right there. Beautiful, open up to me. Exhale. All right, if you like my workouts, feel free to subscribe, and I'm here for you for all my active agers. This workout is designed for clients in their 50s, 60s, 70s, 80s, Intermediate, you should have a good foundation of how your body moves through space. That's why some of those exercises are a little challenging, but they're good for you. Ball work was amazing today. You have the equipment at home. Let's use it and let's get you strong. Good job, everyone. See you next time.